Roars, where we look at your favourite singers and find out what makes them them. And today we have Sarah and Lisa. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited for me to be here. Honestly, I'm just great. so excited because I know you've got something amazing lined up for me to watch. I can just feel it. Yeah, I haven't seen this. <gasps> I'm so, so I don't excited. Know. No, me neither. It's Moana and it's an acapella group. Some good songs in there, I'm not gonna lie. Lynn Manuel Miranda. Before we start, let's tell tell us who you are. So I'm Sarah, I am a singer and a vocal coach and a performer and yeah, kind of just a bit of everything Doing really. The hustle, the hustle that you do <laughs> when you're a freelance <laughs> artist. Yeah. Literally mm -hmm. do a bit of everything, but yeah. I love it. And yeah, I am mad into harmonies. That's like my thing. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see how this group do because I've sang with a lot of groups. Some good, some not so good, not mentioning their <laughs> names. So I'm excited to see how these guys do with this. Moana, make way, make way. Moana, it's time you knew. The village of Motondu is all you need. Consider the coconut, the what? Consider its tree. Each part of the coconut, that's what? all we need. His voice is so warm. The bass, though. God, that doesn't mm -hmm. even sound like a. Is he a real human? Like, that's so rare you don't come across someone with a voice like that. Right yeah, it's it so warm. I love it. Also, what I liked about the beatboxer is mm. I feel like he was making the sounds of what a coconut would sound like. Yeah! Straight away, if you hadn't have even told me which Disney movie this was from, I would have been like, Moana. And I also liked the little speechy bits when they're like, oh, what? I know, like, that's what I mean. They just, they've captured the essence of the movie, like, in the first opening sequence. We make our nets from we the fibers. From the water is sweet and inside. We use the leaves to build fires. We cook fires. up the meat inside. The village inside. believes. That's right. The village believes the island gives us what we need, and no one needs So here I'll stay, my home, my people beside me, and when I think of tomorrow, there we. Right. Tone is so Disney musical theater. Perfect. It's like really light, really mixed away. It's not like pushed at all. No breath. It's yeah, like yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, uh, she's got like maximum payoff there, but it's dynamically still nice and soft. And you know what I love about groups like this? You know, you've got five singers there, no instruments. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a beatboxer as well. And yet, they have so much energy that like, I can't help but move. Yeah, It's yeah, almost, yeah. they've got just as much energy as a full 12, 15 piece band. What I think is the key, like they all have like superpowers. Yes. So you've got like this bass, you've got the beatbox, so you've got the different parts and the harmonies. Yeah. And because they're all kind of got these special skills, it just makes this perfect team. Absolutely. Which might be a weird skill by itself, like a bass by himself. There's not that many songs. Exactly. But in this setting, it's absolutely perfect. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll lead the way. Sounds just like a drum. Phenomenal. It literally sounds like tss, tss, tss. I forgot, and then I was like, they've got a track. No, they haven't. They have a beatbox. No, he's incredible. He's absolutely incredible. Yeah, the more I'm hearing her sing as well, the more I'm like, wow, she's just nailed this style. She's she needs to be cast in a Disney movie. We need to find out her name and get her a get her a role. Oh, interestingly, she sounds like the girl Hamilton, which is <gasps> uh, she sounds ah. like the girl who sings Burn on Broadway. Yes, uh, Philippa too. Maybe that's like the style of voice that he likes. Maybe. That's really, really interesting. I feel like with this arrangement, you could listen to this two or three times and hear something different every mm. time, which I really, really like. Where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. It calls, it calls no one me. knows how far it goes. Oh. Two 
things. How yeah. like high notes there? Again, it's like just a really perfect mix. Yeah, it's light, perfect. but it's like still powerful. Yeah, it's not easy to do. A lot of people like the mistake to do is like push up that chest voice and be like, ah. That's very common in like musical theatre and Disney singing, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's all about belting when actually it's not. Yeah, it? if you lighten it off, you just have that much more control over it, and it's, definitely you can then hit all these really high notes. That's how she can get up into that lovely high riff there. I really like and why I find really clever about acapella arrangements in general is when obviously you're taking ideas from the original, which is like a band or yeah. a track, but they completely change it and they've put words in and it doesn't become too much but all these little counter melodies which aren't there but they're using instead of the band yes, work really to well to fill it out I agree even in just this one minute 57 seconds that we've watched so far like you really get a feel for what the soundtrack is like mm. so if you've never seen Moana you've never listened to the songs and you come across this video you know straight away mm -hmm. what it's all about exactly what you're going to get in the soundtrack I think that's the sign of a really good arrangement when they yeah. capture all of that in two minutes Open your eyes, let's begin. It's, it's really me, it's my way. Like, oh, it so I know it's a lot, the hair, the bod. <laughs> when you stare at it, it's gonna get out. What can I say except welcome for the tide, the sun, the sky? Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, take it away. Kid, honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that was Maui just messing around. I killed a eel, I buried its guts. Spotted a tree, now you got coconuts. Ooh, what's the what does it take away? Don't mess don't with Maui when he's on the way away. In the tapestry. Whole section to get that so tight. You've got like three different people with three different rhythms yeah. to make that combination. I know that personally, I remember doing gigs and them giving me egg shaker and being like, ah, <laughs> I shake this egg or like, and then singing like the wrong lyrics because I got so freaked. Die. Yeah, it's so easily done. The little bits that they're all singing, they're so staccato, but they've got it so, so tight. Well, that little moving, like, parallel, like, mm. melody thing was so fast. Everyone has to be exactly on each note. If one yeah. goes out, it's going to be like, whoa. Yeah, you can't be slightly flat. Tone-wise, your tone has to be bang on, because if someone's tone is a little bit too dark and someone's is a little bit too light like they don't blend as well so and also they're in different parts of their ranges so to get that blend while well, maybe you're in quite a high part of your range but the next person's in the middle part of their uh -huh. range because that that phrase went it's going through different registers so would have taken hard work oh yeah on my skin, skin is the map of the victories i win, win. where i've been i make everything happen oh. look at the mini mamawi <laughs> Having trouble with his look. Oh, the little Demi Mini guy. Ouch! What a terrible performance. Get the hook. Get it? You don't swing it like you used to, man. Yet I have to give you credit for my start and your time. It's so deep. It's so deep, but also like the warmth in it. The yeah. Guess, and the tone behind it. Often when it's deep, sometimes it gets a bit breathy at the bottom and stuff. Yeah. But it's like. Solid. Yeah. I also like when he's doing his like dum dum dum. He's making it like a percussive sound as well. Yeah. It's like that thing that takes singers from being good singers to phenomenal singers when they can capture that instrument that they're trying to replicate and they, yeah. they've got the percussiveness. Because you know, lots of singers can sing mm -hmm. staccato and can sing with good diction, but it's like that next level where you're actually replicating the tone of the instrument. I'm sad. <laughs> Just like you, I've made myself a work of art I'll never hide, I can't, I'm too shiny Watch me dazzle like a diamond in the rough Strut my stuff, my stuff I'm too so shiny Send your armies, but there'll never be enough My show's too tough My little man You can try, try, try But you can't expect a demigod To be the deck of pot Look it up you will die, die, die. Now it's time for me to take a part. You're making hard. You'll never be quite as shiny. You wish you were nice and shiny.
beautiful three-part harmony in her on the tune. Oh. It was just... I feel like singers everywhere are like melting after listening to that. I felt like I could have been listening to like a string arrangement, you know? Yeah, those like long lines, because they were so oozy and like... Yeah, and the control over that to hit those long notes and move dynamically, you know, go from soft to loud to soft again without breathing it takes a hell of a lot of control. I don't know who's done the arrangement, the harmony. It kind of almost felt like waves. Yeah, it does. You know? With like a giant creepy octopus underneath. <laughs> <laughs> technology in music. I'm a big fan of technology in music, but the use of that really, really heavy reverb on that section, mm. I think just so, it was so clever. It, it really... It felt atmospheric. Yeah, 100%. And I love that vocal harmony groups are experimenting with technology mm. in their arrangements because I think it's the way forward. And imagine them doing that live oh. with that reverb on in like a huge hall. Oh, 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 that'd be beautiful. That'd be so good. Oh. I think it's so specific to that style though. Yeah. It's very like musical theatre or Disney, which maybe wouldn't fit with like pop so much. I, I really actually want to go and check her out and see what else that she does mm. to see if this is her style. Obviously everyone has a style that suits them best and there's nothing wrong with kind of sticking to what you're best at and playing up to your strength. But it would be really interesting to maybe explore and see what other styles she sang because I'd love mm. to hear how her voice translates. She's made me want to go home and uh, work on my mix though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it was like the whole way up. Yep, she nailed that. It wasn't forced. In this style, it is quite common for people to overbelt. Yeah. But it can go a bit too far. Yeah, for sure. And she had just the right amount of power and strength, but it was light and it was super controlled. And I liked as well how they all had the characters within yeah. in the movie and it really suited all of them. Yeah, it was so good. It was clever how they did it. You get to that place by knowing everyone's strengths and then you can choose songs and choose arrangements that really show everyone off and it just, it's just a sign of a group that works so well mm. together and that's just as impressive in itself I think. Yeah. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. If you want to find Sarah, where can we find you? So you can find me on Instagram at Sarah Martin Vocals, I'm on Twitter at Sarah Martin Vox and I have a website as well, sarahmartinvocals.com if you want to check it out. Great and as per usual just find me on all the social medias at Beth Roars and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>